stream here on the Stony Ridge Farm. We'll give a few folks a few minutes to get in here to the interactive live stream here. Uh, hopefully everybody's getting notifications. First thing I want to say right now, if you're not getting notifications for these live streams, hit that notification bell right now down there. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed and pound that notification bell down there. It'll get you notified when we're going live here on the Stony Ridge Farm and when we post a new video. So what good would be subscribing to a YouTube channel and being a fan if you didn't know when the guy posted a video? So <laughs> welcome to the farm vlog tonight, guys. Welcome to the live stream. Spring Hill Outdoors in the house. We've got a lot of giveaways to do tonight, just so you guys know. And I want to talk a little bit about homestead burnout. Uh, a little bit about homestead burnout. This is sparkling grape uh, juice. A holiday favorite of mine. Ah, so welcome, everybody. Hamiltonville Farms in the house. Nathan Powell in the house. Skipper Key Philo. Greg Fuller, Lisa, Blake, Andrea, Jason, Brent, Jay, Hamiltonville Farms again. <laughs> Brian SLC Farms in the house tonight too. Awesome. Well, happy holidays, guys, first of all. Uh, thanks a lot for joining us tonight here on the Stony Ridge Farm. Just did our uh, first Christmas with uh, part of my wife's family tonight. It was pretty pleasant. Had a good time. We uh, all exchanged gifts and fellowship. It was a, it was a great time. So want to talk a little bit about homestead burnout and my phone is at 15 percent battery power so this is going to be a short live stream tonight but i want to talk to you a little bit about homestead burnout and not getting burnout on your homestead and not getting burnout on what you're doing not losing sight of your goals on your homestead it's something that's pretty difficult and you'll see a lot of unfinished farm type activities on a lot of places a lot of farms a lot of places homestead stuff like that you'll see piles of junk and stuff Winter time is a good time to think about all the things that you want to do. And I don't know about you guys, but what I do is I look up stuff on YouTube and I get ideas about fun stuff that I want to do. So think about that for your wintertime projects. Get out and clean up your place. We're going to go ahead and ATV 950. We're just going to go ahead and we're going to block you. Okay. So uh, I think we'll do that. Let's see if that blocked you. No, that didn't do it. Hide user on this channel. There we go. We don't need that. Okay, bud? So, deuces. We'll see you later. <laughs> so, homestead uh, burnout, guys. I experience it. You experience it. If you're a homesteader, if you're a farmer, if you're starting a business, whatever it is that you're doing, you experience it. So, I want to talk about, you know, take some time for yourself. You know, this winter time, take some time for yourself. I'm guilty of not doing that myself. Uh, not taking time for myself. And today, I hopped in the car and drove to the gym and got a workout in and and I feel great and I think it's time that everybody thinks about that so this time of year take some time for yourself I know it's easy to get burnout get burnout on life working hard trying to work to the next goal of whatever it might be whether it's financial or farm or homestead or you know buying a new tractor or whatever uh, so definitely uh, think about that and don't get yourself too burnt out and too overstressed on it. If it stops being fun, it's not worth it. So, Chad and Shelby from North Country Off Grid, I've got your page pulled up back here on the computer screen. You can see that. Um, guys, if you aren't familiar with North Country Off Grid, those guys are going through a whole lot right now with, uh, with their local county and government. So, if you're not following North Country Off Grid, jump in there and check them out. They've... Uh, They've been going through a whole lot with uh, privacy issues in their county and, and uh, a lot of stuff Chad has taught me a whole lot of stuff about privacy and, and about uh, what's going on with those guys. And um, they actually had a, a uh, local person there that the building inspectors were on their property without them knowing. Uh, there's a whole lot of stuff going on. So again, check those guys out when you get done watching the live stream because it's going to be a short one tonight and we'll run out of battery power so uh 43 likes everybody pound that like button and hit the bell icon down there notify you when i'm posting a new video it's a good thing so anyhow christmas time so we've got christmas coming up here let's see um christmas time's coming up i hope everybody's got their shopping done uh, i know i've got my shopping done got mrs stony ridge something a little pretty special taking her to a nice dinner um 
so that's that's going to be good. We don't do a whole lot of crazy stuff for for our families on the uh, Christmas. Harold White says, "Do you trap?" I don't trap, but I could trap. I've got several creeks, man. Uh, it would be a good thing. But I'll tell you guys what, man. Uh, having a YouTube channel like this and and promoting and and putting these videos out like I do. It is extremely, extremely time consuming and extremely, it's it's hard. It's hard work. It really is hard work. So share some respect for your, for the other homesteader type YouTube folks. You know, we're, we're building a farm. We actually got four more cows today. Uh, been out working with those cows, trying to make sure that they're acclimated to their new surroundings before dark, before they go running through a fence or something like that. So we have now six cows and we'll get a video about that this weekend um, on the channel so we have six cows now and one donkey and we're probably going to be getting two more cows in the next three weeks so getting all stocked up for the winter here just like the plan the plan was to wait till winter time when the cattle prices are down and buy our cows so that's what we're doing good stuff uh legitimate farm a <laughs> legitimate farm now i guess what type of cattle, says Lisa? We're doing a Black Angus cow. And uh, a lot of people are fans of the Black Angus. A lot of people aren't fans of the Black Angus. Uh, tell you about the livestock auctions and stuff around here. The Black Angus, the black cows bring more money. And that's what we're in it for. So we're in, we're, we're not raising cow. We're raising cows for our meat and meat production. And also, hopefully one day we'll be able to sell to the end consumer and we're raising cows because we want to make sure we know what goes in our food and we're going to sell cows. So we're trying to build our stock up, probably build our stock all the way up to about 40 cows by the time all this is all, all done. So Arkansas Pilgrim in the house. Hey, everybody. Scott Brom says it's freezing. It was about 50 degrees today here. It was pretty nice. Very, very nice. So a lot of you guys up north are really suffering right now it's snow in minnesota and all that stuff Phew, i would not want to live up there uh, not knocking where you live it's a beautiful country but i uh, like my mild milder winters here in north carolina we still get snow we got like uh one snowstorm of 16 inches last year so um guys the channel had a huge milestone we hit it yesterday 300,000 subscribers we hit that milestone yesterday thanks to you guys it's super duper awesome I can't thank you enough for all the support that uh, that you've been uh, giving me for sure. North Country Off Grids picking beard fights. <laughs> Good stuff. Brandon Eastup, Merry Christmas. $2 Super Chat. Thank you, brother. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. We'll put that towards some cow food. So today we bought uh, two more cow-calf pairs. One we paid. So the first cow-calf pair we bought for $9.50 at the auction. And these two cow calf pairs we bought for one was thirteen hundred and one was eleven hundred. So we paid a little bit more of a premium, but we negotiated delivery into that too. A couple hundred bucks is a whole lot cheaper than buying a stock trailer, I'll tell you that. Will it be named? <laughs> They'll be numbered. I don't know about named. We've been calling one of them Big Mama because she's the biggest mama. Um, not too sure that my first cow calf pair that we bought at the auction and again be wary if you're going to a livestock auction and buying your livestock be wary that somebody could be bringing in their cull livestock they could be bringing in something that's not taking care of its baby which i'm not positive i have yet to see my first cow calf pair i've yet to see that calf nurse so i'm a little bit concerned about that I really am you should let us pick the names jeff jeff Guys, I probably am not going to name my cows. Uh, maybe if we get one oddball cow, but I, there, I'll know them. I'll know what cow it is, but uh, <laughs> I don't, I'm not sure I'm going to name one. Might name a baby once we have our first baby here on the farm. I think we'll name those for sure. Don't name food, says Eugene. I don't know if these will be food yet or not, but they will be. Uh, um, they'll be earning us a living i hope so they are not pets that's for sure now loving on them and petting on them is okay you know treating your livestock good is great but i don't know that uh we need to name our cows <laughs> uh just yet so i'm trying to check my battery on my phone here guys so we're gonna have a fairly short live stream this is 
we got to give away some stuff tonight. We got to give away a lot of stuff. So if you were paying attention, how many cows did we buy today? That's going to be for a super clean giveaway. I have five super clean giveaways. That's five uh, super clean prize packs. Super clean guys email me today. It's like, give away a bunch. So first one I saw, Logan Gibson. Go to stonyridgefarmer.com and shoot me an email. We'll send your information over to super clean and those folks will set you up. We're going to also pick the next one here. So we just bought four cows today. Roger Shalich. Uh, don't let me kill your name there, buddy. Go to stonyridgefarmer.com. Shoot me an email, buddy. Uh, let's just pick the first uh, first five that answered right. Nathan Powell. Uh, do the same thing. Go to stonyridgefarmer.com. Shoot me an email. Steven Tedder. You won too. And Dylan McDonald. So that makes five. Five super clean prize packs tonight. Don't say you never got anything from Stony Ridge Farmer. Now, guys, these are the first ones that come across my screen first, okay? So, that's it. Awesome. Congrats to all the winners. Shoot me an email. We'll forward your info over to the folks at Super Clean, and they'll get with you on the type of shirt you want. You got an option of a gray shirt and a purple shirt, I think, and the type of hat. I think you got a camo. I Don't quote me. You got a purple option. And a camo option, I think. Camo one's pretty cool. I like the purple one, too. So I like to give away the stuff. I like to do the giveaways, man. I think it's fun. Congrats, guys. Hamiltonville Farm. Arkansas Pilgrim. So, thank you guys that are channel members again. You see the little emblem beside Hamiltonville Farm? That's a chicken. That means that they've been members for, I think, three or four months we've only been doing this so so those guys were like the first ones to jump in and become a channel member if you're thinking about becoming a channel member I think it's like five dollars a month it helps out the bottom line here on the farm it helps for, for me to go buy camera equipment and travel and make these videos for you so that's what it's all about uh, if you'd like to become a channel member and help support the farm you're very welcome to do so if you do it on a live stream it's gonna light up the screen so just so you know uh, Douglas C. Lynch, Merry Christmas to you and your family. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate that. Jennifer Saunders says, "Thank, congrats on the 300K. Yeah, holy cow. Never would have thought that. I remember back when the channel had like 400 subscribers. I think I had 400 subscribers and my good buddy Dutch, keeping it Dutch, uh, gave me a shout out and I picked up like 400 subscribers in one day. I was like, oh my God, it's a mind blower. <laughs> It was pretty amazing. So hopefully I can pay that forward over to my, my friends at uh, North Country Off Grid. And my buddy at Daniel at Arms Family Homestead too. Good people. Got to get those guys on the, uh, on the live stream sometime. So chickens are five months and the pig is six months. I'm, I'm reading. <laughs> You're good people, says Scott. I like Dutch, says Lynn. Dutch is good about that. Yep. Dutch will pay it forward, that's for sure. So definitely a good people, man. I mean, on our first trip around the country, when we stopped by Arms Family Homestead, we visited their place. We'll definitely go back. We'll definitely go back and see Dutch again, see what he's up to. Uh, and we've been to North Country Off Grid, which is a 2,300-mile drive from the Stony Ridge Farm to North Country Off Grid insane insane drive we drove 8500 miles over a three week period when we did our uh, our last road trip with the youtube channel and we stopped and visited all kinds of cool people so you both breed dogs oh <laughs> with dutch yeah dutch's dog got bred my dog got bred dutch had trespassers i had trespassers <laughs> uh it's funny it's funny how we feed off one another sometimes. The chickens and the pigs after their names for being a channel member. Yeah. Hmm. That's interesting. That's a good idea. I could let the channel members vote on the, the name of the first baby cow born. But we don't know if it's going to be a male or a female. So we do have two pregnant cows. So the two cows that just came today uh, have two babies and they should be pregnant. So we should have more cows coming from that. Name the donkey Dutch. <laughs> North Country Off Grid. That's got to be you, Chad. <laughs> Chad said name the donkey Dutch. Do y'all have a rural king in North Carolina? Says Matthew Jesse. We've got one just north of us in Martinsville, Virginia. So we're only five minutes from the Virginia border. 
um, in the foothills of the Blue Ridge Mountains. Ralph's truck and said I had a trespasser and I loaded my Smith & Wesson. Best thing to do is load that telephone and call the cops um, before anybody gets in trouble. Definitely. More Family Farm. Like the shirt, Josh. Hello from Missouri. M.O. Is M.O. Montana or Missouri? M.S. is Missouri, isn't it? You're right. The donkey's name is Donkey. Off-grid lifestyle. Missouri. Okay, good. Good. So what's what's Montana? M.N.? Help me out. <laughs> Help this old farmer out here. Some guy left a comment on the channel uh, that I look just like his dad. I was like, dude, <laughs> that's how you know you're getting old. And some kid's like, hey, you look just like my dad. <laughs> cool, bro. <laughs> uh, MS is Mississippi. MT is Montana. Right on. We all got educated tonight. <laughs> What's the state right above Montana? Go. <laughs> Mm, 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 mm. Come on, come on. Can name a steer prep stutter, Bob. <laughs> Canada, exactly. Canada, boom. <laughs> there is no state above Montana. Come on. <laughs> Canada. Pretty soon Canada will be a state. What do you think? <laughs> Saskatchewan. So. Well, guys, I just wanted to say Merry Christmas. Thank you all so very much for your support. Again, don't get burnt out on your homestead. Work hard, play hard, enjoy your life. Take some me time, take some time for yourself. Uh, I'm going to have some pretty cool videos coming out in the next few days here. We'll show you the new uh, four new cows that we got. We'll talk about the baby. I may end up having to round up that baby uh, from the first cow and start bottle feeding it. I'm not too sure what the heck's going on whether that cow is drinking milk from the mama or whether its health is declining and I need to get on this so I've already bought the uh, the milk so we'll see uh, Katie Hill farmer said check the nipples that that got held for review <laughs> um, yeah what I, my thought is to pin the baby up and and try and give it some uh, some bottle fed milk and see what happens. What happened to Butch and Sundance? Says John McAllister. Man, you're way behind, bro. So we had two puppies uh, that were Butch and Sundance, and they were a handful. They were cattle dogs, uh, cattle dog mix, and we ended up taking Butch and Sundance to a cattle farm, and a farmer guy had just lost his cattle dog of like 15 years or so, and we gave him the dogs. So he's got his babies back. I'm sure they're spoilt riding now. So, if the nipples are dirty, she's not sucking. If they're clean, you're good to go. Katie Hill Farmer says that. That's a good point. Mom's nipples are clean, as much as I can see. Might have to get my binoculars out. <laughs> so these cows aren't like friendly cows. You can't just walk up and pet them on the head. Hey, cow! They're they're not exactly the uh, the petting kind of cow. Hmm. <laughs> So, anyhow guys, got some cool stuff coming up this weekend. I've been working the first of the year this year. We're going to have a lot of uh, the Made in America series videos. So, the Made in America series videos, like we went to Ventrac tra uh, Tractor Factory. We're going to go down to Lane Shark, where they build the Lane Shark, and we're going to show you how that's made. We're also going to go to Missouri and visit a couple factories there. We're also going to go to uh, Texas and we're going to show you guys how treated posts are made. We're going to go to American Timber and Steel down in Nacogdoches, Texas. That should be a really fun video. I'm totally curious. I have no idea. I mean, I have some earthly idea how, how fence posts are made, but I really don't have a concept of it. So... I think it'd be really fun to show you guys that, and hopefully I've got some good fans down in Texas, so it'll be good stuff. NH is New Hampshire, says MJ. <laughs> Arkansas Pilgrim, don't shoot the cows. Now, I hope that one of those cows cannot be mistaken for a deer, because there are no black deers and there's no bears that big. <laughs> uh, gotcha, gotcha. Well, guys, Merry Christmas. We'll try, try, try. Let me know. Do you want to do a live stream uh, next week on Christmas Day? I don't know if we should do that or not. 
if we do a live stream on Christmas Day, it'll be at 7 p.m. Christmas Day. So if you guys want to join us for a live stream on Christmas Day, if I can get away from the family and we're not totally exhausted, we may do a Christmas special on Christmas Day. So that would be pretty fun. Some say no, some say yes. So anyway, thanks a lot, guys. Thanks to all you folks that have left Super Chats. I appreciate it. And thank you all so much. Land to House in, in here, too. Thank you all so much. That's another good channel to go check out, guys. Land to House. Um, he's the king of the ram pumps, and he's coming here to help us out with a ram pump to help for our cattle watering. It's going to be awesome. So he said, nope, be with your family. Most of our family stuff, we'll see. We'll see. If we don't do a live stream on uh, Christmas Day, then we'll try and work it out later on in the week. So it would be a good thing. Guys, thanks a lot for joining me here tonight on the Stony Ridge Farm. I appreciate you. Thanks for all your support. Thanks for everything. I hope you and your family have a very blessed Christmas season here. Everyone, please drive safe. Don't get in a hurry. Take some time for yourself. Don't tailgate. Don't flip people off. Be kind and have a Merry Christmas. Thanks a lot, guys. We'll see you next time on the Stony Ridge Farm. This weekend, all kinds of cool stuff. Hooked up the Gator. I mean, the Kubota. The Kubota. We did a little, some add-ons on the Kubota. Got new cows. What else? Oh, we started working on Earl the Tractor. We'll see you this weekend. Good stuff. Thanks a lot. Woo! <laughs>